Cezanne just released a lookbook for their very first kids collection and at first I wasn't planning on covering the kids line but I have spent all morning looking at the lookbook and they do happen to have women's pieces on their mommy pieces. I have a lot of thoughts and questions so let's go over it. That means that this week I have two videos for you on my channel in addition to this lookbook review watch out for my Cezanne faux try-on. I went to the Cezanne store San Francisco and tried some of the new pieces. I also shopped the drop last Sunday, but my order is still in France, stuck in preparation. I was supposed to do a try-on for you, but that will be for next week if my order gets to me in time. I think I did good at the San Francisco Cezanne store though. They had quite a few pieces. I also released a preview of my try-on on Instagram. If you're active on there, make sure to join me. Link is in the description box below. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Now let's get into today's video. The top I'm wearing today is from a French brand called Cyrilus. I discovered them by accident a couple of years back while I was wandering on the streets of Strasbourg and I really like their pieces. I now visit their store every time I'm in Paris. They also happen to have a really great kids line. Here it is, the lookbook. As an opening, we have a collage of images and a 30 minute podcast with the founder of Cezanne. If you understand French, you can listen to it. It has very nice sound editing. It kind of sounds a little bit like NPR. And so far, everything about this lookbook is very on brand for Cezanne. And my biggest question that I don't know the answer of as of now is how often will this kids line release collections? Is it going to be every month? Is it going to be every couple of months? They already have a pop-up at the Bon Marché. If you're not familiar, Bon Marché is a department store in Paris, my favorite, and uh, it is the only department store that carries Cezanne. Oftentimes, I, when friends ask me about like, oh, where should I go shopping in Paris? I only have half a day or a day, and I tell them to go to the Bon Marché. If you like Cezanne, at the Bon Marché, the curation is very similar. You'll find a lot of Cezanne adjacent brands. And it's just, it's, it's very efficient to shop there because everything is under one roof. And then they have an amazing kids floor. And then you can also do all of your tax back paperwork in one place. So note that down if you're going to Paris and you have limited time shopping, the Bon Marché is, is a great choice and that whole area is really nice like you can walk around afterwards there are a lot of cafes a lot of bakeries um so there is a pop-up there for the petite Cezanne. i don't know how long this pop-up will be there and i heard rumors that there will be a standalone store i don't know if those rumors are true but if you are going to have a standalone store then you will need stock for it so i'm thinking we're gonna see a lot of releases by Petite Cezanne. If you have any information around that, please share it with us. I've been nosy, I've been trying to find out more, but Cezanne has been pretty secretive about it. I don't know much, even like the standalone shop that hasn't been confirmed, or at least I haven't seen information surrounding that. Overall, I find this photo shoot that they've released to be really nice. I love the all the movement like they they ask the kids to do all these things like to dance to play and you can see that dynamic uh, in the pictures it looks really nice the fabric of um, all of these pieces looks great texture the colors are fun the prices that's another question if you have kids i don't have kids so i'm not sure how the prices for these kids pieces compare to other brands kids line Please share your thoughts. And in that line of thinking, do we think that Petite Cezanne is going to be part of the archives? Because that will be huge if, if um, we see those pieces then half off from this. I'm very curious about that. Moving down, you can see here they've incorporated like a video of the kids playing instruments and dancing. And it's really upbeat 
really nice, very on brand for Cezanne. Um, over here on the left, we are seeing um, this jumper on the girl, which I think initially when we saw the first images, I thought that this um, these girls that look in their teens, they look like, to me, they look like they're maybe 14 or 15 and they're wearing a lot of Cezanne pieces and initially I thought they're wearing the Cezanne kids line but the more I look at it I think they're actually wearing the adults line just the smaller sizes and this sweater I think is one of the new Amiel jumpers mocha that has been teased we've heard that there will be an Amiel mocha and I think this is the first look we are getting of it by the way when I went to the Cezanne store San Francisco to try the fall collection. I tried the new gray Amiel and it, at least the gray one runs smaller than last year's colors. I was surprised, but basically last year I would buy an extra, extra small from the Amiel and it will drape really nicely. It will be oversized, but this year I had to wear a small or even a medium to kind of replicate that look. And it's just something to be aware of. I don't know if it's true for all the upcoming colors or I don't even know if it's true for all the gray. Maybe I was unlucky. I don't know, but it's just something to, to know about the Amiel. I'm very excited about this mocha color. And then we have this little guy that he's so cool. Isn't he like the coolest kid? I love like his hair and he's wearing a kid's version of the crop jeans and that sweater with the colors. Really, really cool. And right away, I see that some of the pieces are marked as coming soon, which kind of brings me back to that thought. How many releases are we going to see from the Petite Cezanne? Um, is it going to be like a monthly thing? Is it going to follow like Cezanne releases, like one Cezanne, one Petite Cezanne? I don't know, but there will be more. We're seeing coming soon, which means we're not getting everything in one drop here we see a very cool mom how she's styled mm, perfection like the colors her hair that jacket she is so cool and the kid like this dress i mean honestly like all of these pieces i'm seeing for the kids i mean i would wear them if they make a mommy version for all of these i just really like the vibe of it and um here's uh, the piece that is going to be mommy and me the clothes shirt in this yellow plaid i have asked the customer service people and they told me this shirt is dropping on sunday along with the green clothes with the flowers i'm thinking of getting one i'm not sure which one i i like them both they're really nice here you can go horizontally on this lookbook. I would say this lookbook has a very like interactive, more dynamic structure than a lot of the lookbooks that we've seen from Cezanne that are usually you just scroll down. And we see that this fabric is used for a lot of um, little boy clothing, little girl clothing. I mean, basically the kids clothes shirt is kind of like half of the adults. But then if there is kids archives, it will be half of that. Which is not a bad price at all but we don't know we don't know if they're gonna be part of it i'm just speculating this top i want an adult top like this it is so cute the colors the placement of the embroidery mm, i love this Susie blouse and then this coat and this green is so pretty i love how she's wearing like socks with clogs i mean so cute we're seeing corduroy pieces that we already saw released during the fall drop of Cezanne. Very nice. I'm just loving all of these pieces. It's definitely a great um, collection. And weaved in into the lookbook, we are seeing recipes and city guides. And that kind of reminds me of when Cezanne released the Italy collection. They just created all this additional content around it which is, is really thoughtful and from a marketing standpoint it's such a nice way to engage your audience. As someone who works in content and um, I kind of like really like to analyze what brands usually do on us, what tactics they employ, 
um, we are seeing the Samuel jumper again I think this girl the older girl I think she is wearing the pieces from the actual adult line and then there will be a baby version of the Samuel which is so cute in this beige color we're seeing a lot of uh, very girly button-ups which is very Cezanne. Cezanne does some of the best white, like very feminine shirts. And of course they have brought that to the kids line as well. Here we are seeing another adult piece, this uh, sleeveless vest. I do think this one will sell out. It's just such a perfect faux season layer. You can see there will be a version for the kids and then for the moms. And I think the moms one will sell out for sure. We're seeing a more little sweatshirts, really cute. I love this plaid. I love this half zip. This color over here is just like the shirt from the C New York collaboration. They should bring that one back. That one's a good, good button up. Moving down again, here you have some recipes, all that additional content, really nice more of a lifestyle approach than just buy our clothes i really like that and it gives the the people who handle the social media a lot more space to create then we're seeing this print it's been teased for quite some time it's basically this kind of like patchwork this will come uh, as for the adults as well and it has really nice colors it ties really well with all the greens that we are seeing this season Again, look at these kids. I mean, they're so adorable. And I, I do like that the casting is quite diverse. But you know what is, you know what I find strange? I see all of the kids and um, some of the women models, right? But no men. I was expecting to see at least a few of the guys from the October editions website kind of like make an appearance here, you know, kind of to represent the whole family. But we're not seeing any of the male models i don't know why maybe that's for the next chapter here's a close-up look of this fabric i mean it's so darling with all these colors okay here it is the oops scrolled here is the uh, mommy version of this look it's the same design just it will be in adult sizing and here is the little girl so cute i love this look also, we're seeing again a lot of corduroy. We are seeing a baby wheel jacket. So cute. It would be nice to get like the men's wheel and then the mom has a wheel and then you have like the kid with it, like a family of wheel jackets. I guess this, again, this styling, this little guy is so adorable. And I love how his pants are tucked in the boots and then this collar. Oh, and his hair is so nice this uh floral is really lovely like again if there is an adult shirt in this fabric i do really like it i'll be interested and then here we are seeing some jacquard for skirts and jackets great for fall moving down more lifestyle recommendations a lot of denim that is being marked coming soon if I had to guess, I expect mid-September we're going to get part two of the fall collection for the women. And then maybe after that we're going to get part two of the Petite Cezanne um, collection. I really like the embroidery denim, the one that we're seeing in the middle. I have the Look Rob jeans, a lighter wash with a similar embroidery. And I wore these jeans so much this summer. This darker wash is perfect for fall. Actually, this medium, it, it's a medium wash and it's perfect for all year round. I hope we see a medium wash look crop with this embroidery for the women as well. I love it. It's just so nice. Kind of has like that detail without being too much. Moving down, we're seeing plaid again for the whole family. We're seeing for the little boys, for the little girls, for the mom. So cute with this bandana both of them oh my god they're so adorable and they they're kind of like um, styled very similarly right they have this shirt 
it is the same shirt which makes me think they're kind of marketing some of these kids clothes as unisex as well and we have more we are seeing here a baby Emil cardigan in this beautiful red shade I love all of it we're seeing a trend from the adult space which is a leopard print it's going to be very popular this fall and it's going to also be popular I guess in the kids line paired beautifully with reds look at all these kids I mean such a fun photo shoot I do really love the photography of this campaign the the coat that this little guy here is wearing I want to see an adult coat in this green I really like this pattern this wool and I am putting in a request to the universe that we get an adult coat. I mean, look at that. And how cool. Wait, that's a really nice combination. I really like it. You have like a coat and then you have like these floral pants. I'm going to steal this idea and kind of try to recreate it with things that I have. But look how great it looks. I love it. Another fabric with embroidery that I'd love to see in the adults line this will be a perfect dress it gives me Duane vibes great styling with the socks and the flats the kids are just adorable here you see this look is really a Ralph Lauren and it's so interesting how when I see the thinner stripes I think Paris but when I see these thicker stripes I think American College slash Ralph Lauren moving down we have more lifestyle content which I would expect a lot of more lifestyle content to come our way and here is the green fabric that is so good we're gonna have a mommy shirt in this fabric and I am getting that shirt even though I I don't <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy on getting all these uh, shirts because I know that Cezanne is going to release a lot more fall pieces in part two of the fall collection but uh, these are so fun I am uh, finding it very hard to exhibit self-control but you can see there are a lot of kids pieces in this green plaid with the flowers and here is a better look at the closure that's coming I mean how can I not look at it it's so good I love this shirt I do think this shirt will sell out I love to do my predictions I've been wrong lately <laughs> to be honest it's been really hard to predict what's going to sell out I used to be uh, so spot on and now it's kind of like sometimes I'm right sometimes I'm not uh, but I love this fabric it's one of my favorite fabrics from this kids collection here we're seeing a coat uh, from the kids line that's gonna come out and it is lined the same way that the Clyde is lined with the beautiful checkered and navy and khaki I've seen a lot of these bags at the Bon Marche like in content on social media people seem to love them and I guess they buy them for the back to school here is a better look at this jacket it is so good Please, Suzanne, make us an adult version. Moving down, more lifestyle content. We are seeing that there will be a adult Samuel jumper in this kind of brick color, very beautiful color. And I've been eyeing these suede pants that the model is wearing. I saw them in the adult uh, lookbook and I really want to try them fingers crossed they look good on me I love how this brown color looks with the green and with the floral it is so so good I mean look at this this color story makes me so happy and then here as a finish to this lookbook we are seeing a little tease of the newborn line and right here that's a baby Gaspard again I saw posts on social media with the baby Gaspard and it's so adorable these little shoes are really nice and this is just a teaser there will be more newborn pieces we're just 
not given the full range but from what i'm seeing is going to be a very good one and that is a wrap for the Cezanne kids line there is a lot to be excited about and i look forward to hearing back what you have to say about it all right everyone this is it for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the new Cezanne's kids line are you excited for it are you planning to shop i want to know if you enjoy watching today's video give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel consider subscribing I would love to see you around more and don't forget to join me on Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description box below on their daily. I share discount codes, sale alerts, restock alerts and new collection gossip. And don't forget this week is a two video week. Watch out for my Cezanne Faux try on at the San Francisco store. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.